Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. To start the video today, Julia Bergeron posted a tweet as the latest booster which flew CRS-24 returned to port with quite the lean to it. Some other shots of the underside of this booster appears to show quite a bit of damage with damaged engine bells and legs so must have been quite a rough landing. Reuters posted an article about some further funding that SpaceX has received. The article says that SpaceX recently disclosed in an SEC filing that they had raised an additional $337.4 million in equity financing. There was a tweet posted about an upcoming SpaceX launch with a bunch of Starlink satellites. It says LHA map for Starlink Group 4-5 from KSC LC39A no earlier than 6th of January, alternatively 7th to 10th of January based on issued notices. Estimated ground track booster landing approximately 637 kilometers downrange, fairing recovery approximately 673 kilometers downrange. S2 re-entry during second orbit in South Atlantic. Not a huge amount of updates today, but over in Boca Chica, the unknown parts spotted in the production yard have now received a paint job. On Wednesday, SpaceX performed another static fire of the Starship 20 prototype. They then fueled up again to attempt further static fire testing and one of the attempts was aborted. Looking at the road and beach closures on the Cameron County website, again, most of the dates are obsolete. However, we can hopefully expect some sort of testing this coming week with closures on Tuesday 4th, Wednesday 5th and Thursday 6th. This common dome for the Starship 24 prototype was spotted outside. The load spreader attached to SpaceX's crane was recently hooked up to the Super Heavy Booster 4 prototype. Booster 4 was then lifted off of the orbital launch mount and onto a transport mount. The booster prototype was then moved back over to the landing pad where it resided previously. To finish up today's video, once again we'll take a look at the latest Starbase production diagram thanks to Brendan Lewis. As always, I have to say thank you to Mary, known as Boca Chica Gal, for being out there constantly filming the Boca Chica content. Also, thanks to the NASA spaceflight team working behind the scenes on their videos, live streams, and other space content. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.